first time I ever heard jazz, I didn't even know what it was. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It stuck with me. Jazz is spontaneous. When you do science, you have the courage to think spontaneously. At the moment where you're doing the creative thinking, you, you have to leave everything wide open. Don't rule out any possible interpretation. Life is based on two kinds of languages, language of DNA and RNA, and the language of proteins. DNA and RNA are mainly concerned with the storage and transmissal of genetic information. Proteins carry out all of the jobs of living cells. These two languages are universal. All living things speak these same languages, plants, animals, and microorganisms. All living cells need to translate the information in the DNA RNA language into protein. And this is what ribosomes do. The approach we've taken in the last few years is to use X-ray crystallography to determine the three-dimensional structures in several different states. Mathematically, we can then reconstruct how the ribosome moves during translation, during protein synthesis. We can see now that antibiotics exploit tiny differences between the bacterial and human ribosomes will undoubtedly discover new antibiotics that will combat these superbugs appearing that are killing people. Humans are one species. We're a little twig on a huge tree. There are sequences of ribosomal RNA that are identical without a single change in every living thing. The reason they, they have not changed is because they're absolutely essential for this crucial role of protein synthesis. These have been there since three and a half billion years ago. Life as we know it originated when the ribosome was born.